think I've sorted this one. Got the ballistics uh, table in. Uh, just gonna do a long press just to come out of it. Right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna paint the aerial for the distance. Going back between 72 and 74 yards. Another press, watch the reticle change. See it drop. So that's 73 yards, that is the, uh, the thing working. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do it closer up and see what we get. So, okay, just focus in. That's basically a broom handle. Just going to paint the distance to that. Just going to do a long, long press to come out of it. I'm going back into it now. Might be a bit too close actually. Let's see, that is. I'll go to the lighthouse. It's 14 yards. I'll focus in on that. There we go. So 13 yards. Now we're close in there. So hang on, do this again. Seventeen. Our terrain's right. Probably too close. I think I've got me thing set at nineteen. Seventy-three. Definitely drop. You see that? So it's working. <clears throat> so basically, what we need to do is put in your details in the app first, like your velocities. And your pellet information, your BC. When that's in, switch on the and save it to the app. You switch on your uh, Bluetooth and then hook it up to the app. Send the information and then it, it stays in the app. Then I'll do that again. Wait for the information stays in the in the system. There we go. Yeah. So once the information's in, you don't need your phone again. Just pressing the ballistics table, and there's the, there's the information. Look. So <coughs> this is by range so I zeroed it at 19 yards at 19 yards the energy is 7 foot pounds and it was 10 and a half at the muzzle time it gets to 31 yards it's 6 foot pounds and I've done it right out to almost 100 so it's showing 4 foot pounds so we'll still be at 4 foot pounds at 100 yards and say it takes 3 foot pounds to kill a rabbit but you never, you never really shoot a rabbit that far away with an air gun, unless it's uh, really high powered and you and you know you're old over. Well, something like this can solve the problem because it calculates from the BC of the pellet and the energy of the pellet, the drop and everything. So that is the ballistic table that I sent to uh, the Arkansas. So if you look at the top, it says distance, speed, energy. The time it takes to reach that target. So it's uh, 0.8 seconds at 19 yards. The time it gets out to uh, 100, you're looking at nearly just under half a second. It's 
pretty interesting information there. So, come out of the ballistic table, that's what you upload. I'm going to go to the different units, settings, conversions. That was at the top right. But if I click on these sample data, this is a sample data. Not quite sure the twist rate on the rifle and that. If I knew that, it could probably be uh, more consistent. But you can see it says zero distance, 19 yards. Scope height, 3.25 inches. That's just a guess, but it's close enough. Uh, minute of angle, quarter inch at 100. First focal plane, and it's based on a 5 to 20 mag scope. That says cartridge and drag and all that. Well, that's basically for firearms. Uh, bullet length, I put it 0.2 inches for a pellet. Calibre 177, bullet weight 8.44. Ballistic coefficients of the H&N Barracuda H is 0.026. Muzzle velocity in feet per second is 748 feet per second average. Just click on the save on that. And that saves it to your app. And at the top here, I can't really see it now, but you can, you can see that's the information of the uh, Arkansas list. That's the Bluetooth set up there. But there's an icon where you can post this to uh, the scope. You can even put in your wind, look, your wind direction and your speeds as well. So if you know them, that makes it even more consistent. And you've got your angle as well. So uh, the scope does have, have a built-in gyroscope, so you get your angle anyway. But yeah, very impressed. Uh, I was using the which method was there's two methods, but they both end up with being the same anyway. You've got the ballistic calculation, real-time calculation, uh, and that comes up with your ballistic table that you send. Yeah, there's the other parts to that. You've got 19 yards to 100 yards. Step distance, 2 yards are put down. Uh, got bullet velocity, energy, time, and all the other things there. You have got a reticle, but I don't know. There's no settings for that. So I don't know if you can upload them at a later date. I'll show you on screen what I used I was, I was running it off off of the instructions and I it wasn't until I uh, tried it through the scope I could get it to I could actually see this the actual reticle move on the second press so distance uh, measurement function on the ballistic calculation menu if you select off or fail to connect the mobile phone app Bluetooth to the device Bluetooth, the device will only measure the distance. A short press the ranging button to turn on the distance measuring function. The ranging icon and current target distance will display on the screen. It will automatically and continuously measure the distance once the distance measurement function is turned on. Continue to short press or long press ranging button for one and a half seconds to turn off the distance measurement the ranging icon and and current distance will not be displayed on screen so if you do short presses it activates the range and the, the other short press will basically adjust the reticle a press for longer than one and a half seconds will turn it off and send it back to normal uh, ballistic calculation, real time calculation, that was the one I used, I believe. Enter the menu list, press ballistic calculation, select real time ballistic calculation, and turn on the Bluetooth at the same time. Connect the device's Bluetooth via Arc and Ballistics app, the Bluetooth name of the device, and it will be viewed in the version interface. After determining the range in target short press the device ranging button to transmit the measured distance to the app which performs the ballistic calculation and sends the result back 
to the device and displays on screen. Now the ballistic calculation table, which you've just been looking at, uh, enter the menu list, press the ballistic calculation and select ballistic table query. Turn on the Bluetooth at the same time. When there is a ballistic table on the device, you don't need to turn on Bluetooth any longer. Click the send icon, which that's what I did, to update the app ballistic table to the device. The device will use the app transmitted data in the ballistic table to perform ballistic calculation and display result on screen. So once it's been input from the phone up to the scope, the phone's done its job and it'll work straight from the scope. Now the aiming method holdover, enter the menu option aiming point method select holdover. First short press the ranging button to activate the ranging function. Uh, ranging icon and distance will display on the screen and the aiming point won't. The second short press the ranging button after determining the target, short press of the ranging button, the ranging icon disappears, uh, the distance is displayed, and the moving aiming point is displayed. The point of impact by ballistic calculation. So basically on the second press, that's when the crosshairs move. Third short press of the ranging button, ranging icon and distance are displayed, the aiming point disappears. A long press the ranging button for one and a half seconds to return to the status when ranging was not activated. The ranging icon and distance disappear. Uh, the aiming method dial in. Enter menu options, aiming method, select dial in. First short press the ranging button to activate the ranging function. Ranging icon and distance will display on screen. Second short press the ranging button, ranging icon disappears, distance is displayed and reticle automatically moves to the ballistic impact point. Now that's the one I was using. Third short press the ranging button, the ranging icon and distance are displayed and reticle returns to its original position. A long press of the button for one and a half seconds to return to the status when the ranging was not activated. The ranging icon and distance disappear. So that is it. It's a bit confusing in a way, but just a matter of getting used to it. But there we go, it works. Uh, I'll try and get down the range tomorrow and actually use it out to 100 yards and see how it works there. So uh, just a short update on the initial automatic ranging with a ballistic calculator. Okay then, we've now got the chimney pops on the roost right over there. Zoom in a bit. Let's range the target. One hundred and two yards. Okay, I'm going to rest the reticle just at the foot of the actual chimney pot. Second press. So that is the drop. 102 yards. So I'm going to do one long press and it's reset it, looks back where it was. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm just going to focus in on the ladybird. Twenty-seven yards, and it's gone up slightly. Now what I'm going to do is a close-in view. Oh. Wasn't in focus for that, sorry about that. But, uh, it's getting a bit closer now. Oh, that's a tabletop. Alright then, let's go for that. See it's raining. It's raining as that. So there's 12 yards. Watch the reticle on the second press. Not much in it to be honest. Okay. for the belt twenty four yards that's gone up a bit yep yeah. bit of old under so there we go there's a the light ass Eleven yards. That definitely made a difference. Again, reset. I'm going to line it up with that when I do it. Drop this here. Up. Seventy one yards, and there we go. Old over.